Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now, if you're not already aware, Mac OS 10 El Capitan is expected to release on September the 30th of 2015. Now, like most any software update, in this case, the entire operating system, there's some precautionary measures that one should take before jumping in and uh, installing the latest and greatest. And I'm going to explain to you what I've done. And again, you know, do your own due diligence and determine what you may need to back up before uh, jumping in and, and updating to uh, Mac OS X El Capitan. Uh, the first thing I've done is I've created a complete time machine backup and I'm going to create another one right before I install El Capitan. And that way if I have to roll back, I've got a current backup of everything. Now if you're like me, you've got an abundance of, uh, of videos and photos and and potentially some business documents, etc. And if any of that became corrupted and or was lost, it could be devastating from a, uh, from a financial perspective. Uh, so for that reason, you know, ensure that you have a proper backup. And something that I'm also doing, I've got two computers. I've got my iMac with Retina 5K display. It's my primary studio computer. And then I've got my MacBook Pro 13-inch with Retina. That's my field computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my portable computer first, my MacBook Pro, run it for a few hours, make sure that everything seems to work flawlessly before I update my primary studio computer. Uh, that way I've got another computer I can use if I'm in a pinch because something goes awry with the update. Not that I expect it to because Apple is, is, is pretty good about uh, releasing Mac OS X updates that, that, tend to, uh, that tend to not break things. With that said, and I don't know how many of you remember this, and I don't, let's see, was it the, uh, was it Mavericks? Or was it Yosemite that introduced this? But you may remember the operating system update for Mac OS X that introduced, introduced something called PowerNap. And if you were like me, you had to go in and disable PowerNap because for using key applications like I use, Final Cut Pro X, it would, it would actually go to sleep and it would cause those... Uh, those exports of videos to either run really slowly and or completely error out. So that was one of the Mac OS X updates that introduced what I would like to refer to as nu nuisances. You know, not necessarily problems, but nuisances that had to be worked out. So with any other, you know, new software update, in this case El Capitan, you know, it's good to, uh, to be prepared and be prepared to roll back should the need arise. Hopefully it won't. Because I'm excited about El Capitan, uh, you know, as we know, all of our, uh, our iOS devices now, they're running iOS 9. So this should enable those devices to better communicate with the operating system, with OS 10. You know, the notes application, um, let's see, pages. I, I've, if you're like me and you've launched those and you've also updated, in my case, iPhone 6 Plus to iOS 9, you may have seen a message saying... Uh, you know, do you want to update your notes or something along those lines? And I haven't done that yet because I'm waiting until I've installed El Capitan on my Mac before I update the uh, the pages and uh, let's see, pages, notes. You know, those those cloud-based uh, document sharing services because I don't want to. The w one thing I don't want to have happen is to get things out of sync because you know my iPhone is running iOS nine, but my Mac is running. Uh, the the previous version of Mac OS 10 is running Yosemite, so I don't want to don't want to break anything if I don't have to. And other things you may want to do to be proactive if you do store a lot of uh, store a lot of data externally like I do, and I've got backups of all my external storage arrays as well that contain video and photo. Uh, but that's something that you may want to uh, when you update, you may just want to have those disconnected. I know that sounds kind of silly. You know, why would you have your external storage disconnected when you, when you update? But, you know, there's always that weird possibility of some sort of unexpected corruption. And by having that media physically disconnected during the update, um, you know, that could potentially save someone a lot, of, uh, a lot of loss. Call me paranoid, but I approach every software update with a sense of uncertainty. Not just uncertainty, but a great degree of uncertainty because... You know, you sh one should go into it with the expectation that everything could become lost. And I know that's a ridiculous assumption, but if you, if you approach it from that, 
from that perspective, if something does go awry, then hopefully the, uh, the waterfall effect of that disaster is not going to be as severe. So I wish everyone the best of luck. I know I'm excited to install uh, Mac OS X uh, El Capitan. Is it going to bring a lot of new stuff to the table? Probably not, uh, but it, it'll hopefully improve. Uh, I'm really excited to see if it brings in any new functionality to uh, the Final Cut Pro 10. I mean, obviously, that's, that's my main uh, bread and butter on my Mac is using that video editing application. So uh, hopefully it'll speed that up and, and maybe add some enhancements and who knows. But we'll find out. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash irix yeah y'all have a good day and again i think they said it's rumored to be available in app store on september the 30th of 2015